clog makers in Britain have been getting an unexpected boost to their business from an unusual source. In the past, Mod Walkley clogs in Yorkshire have sold their footwear to old-time clog dancers or for industrial purposes. But nowadays, clogs have developed what's known in the trade as fashion cachet, thanks to one particular group of young men from Bradford. Bill Turnbull reports on the revival of the clog. They've been dancing like this for a century now, and the wooden-soled shoes are made in much the same way as they were way back then. The clogworks here at Hebden Bridge has been in business for more than a hundred years. Some of the staff have been here a fair old time too. I started making clogs in 1946, but I've been out of it a year or two. I've been about 30 odd years in the trade. And you're the master clogger, are you? One of them. We're called the cloggers light, which is obvious. And then there's the clicker, that's the gentleman that cuts the tops out. And there's the gentleman that does the sole in. And then there's a the gentleman that runs the uh, copying layers that cuts the wood sole out for the, from the very beginning. Now the clickers and cloggers are making more modern footwear to dance. The creative spark for this cult fashion was supplied by the group's designer, a post-punk poet by the name of Jules. We wear them because we like them. We wear them because they're good shoes to wear and we enjoy wearing them. I hate stilettos, I hate stupid girls shoes. I really hate all that waddling around looking daft in a pair of sparky heels. And I wanted a pair of shoes which were practical on the motorcycles because the first time I got them was with my first husband who was one of the Satan slaves. So we were on the bikes all the time and we wanted shoes which were practical. And everybody sort of wore them in that scene so I just got used to them. They made a lot of difference, especially with uh, fashion clogs. A heck of a lot of difference. Yes, and there's all the followers come, you see, and then other people see them in them that, that aren't necessarily uh, model army fans and they want some coming from all over the country. They might even just want a pair of clogs repairing, same as the one Richard's doing. They come from London, Edinburgh, anyway, just for a pair of clogs. Of course, they're not just a fashion item. Working clogs date back to Roman times and beyond. Nowadays, they're still worn in steel and chemical plants where lesser shoes would melt. Man has worn these for comfort and for safety for hundreds of years now. They're the best thing you can have for your feet. It's very comfortable, it's very natural, you've not got plastics next to your feet. It's also, uh, there's an old rhyme that, um, that goes, uh, clogs are warm in winter's sleet, clogs are cool in summer's heat, and that's actually very true. So you'd recommend that I get a pair, would you? I recommend that you all get a pair, yes. Definitely, before you leave. And you feel a lot better for it. Put your profits up too. Yes, <laughs> it won't help me though. <laughs> Summer heat. Well, that's uh, time for us to hang our clogs up until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. There'll be news on the hour starting at 9 o'clock here on BBC One. From all of us here, a very good morning to you. Well, I thought.